Hello, folks, and welcome to our weekend in review. We are here in the preschool classroom. Mrs. Ladwig was uh, kind enough to let us in here, and we are actually, like preschoolers, on the floor sitting right now. You may not believe it. So Prove it, Chad. Oh, oh, man. Uh-oh. Let me help Got to help the old man back up. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, it's a great time, and it's such a, a wonderful place to be around the preschool. So much energy around here. Pastor, remind us, uh, what did you talk about this weekend? This weekend was the baptism of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. I talked about our baptism, Romans chapter 6, connected in baptism with the death mm-hmm. and resurrection of Jesus. Imagine the possibilities, what that means in our lives. Not what others think about us, but what God has done and what God thinks about mm-hmm. us. Our true source of identity. Amen. Powerful. This week, of course, is refuel starting Tuesday, January 21st. 5.30 is a complimentary meal. Saves all the rushing of your evening. 6.30, the program starts. We have child care available, stuff for the kids as well. Even stuff this time for the youth. Philip Bukema, our field worker, is going to do a youth and uh, middle school study. Hey, run through some of the other ones, Chad. What else is going on? Yeah, we've got some great stuff. Um, Jesus plus nothing equals everything. Mm Mm-hmm. I think that's from this guy over here, right? Yeah, I was going to say, I understand they have a riveting instructor for that one. <laughs> oh, I must have it wrong. Then. No, it's a great topic. Study, Study of the book of Colossians. Colossians. That's going to be very interesting. The five R's of the prayer life with Pastor Marino and Deacon Don Henry. That will be center of Christian life, prayer. Excellent. Wonderful Excellent. thing we can all get better at. Um, surviving adolescence, I'm going to facilitate that. It's a great discussion on... Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, Chad. Oh, you will not <laughs> fall asleep. In fact, we're going to have a lot of fun. That's teenagers with their parents. All right. I have you doing all kinds of activities. <laughs> Ideal for fifth and sixth grade parents of fifth and sixth graders. Come and join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. Keeping passion in your marriage with Dr. Oh, yeah. Morris in a three week yeah. class about how do you keep the sizzle after all those years? Man, <laughs> Chad, I understand Lisa was going to sign. <laughs> no. Hey, but Dr. I wish I could go to that class. But <laughs> Dr. Morrison, uh, wonderful no, husband, awesome. family man, great father, and uh, also yes. medical doctor. So, yes. uh, and this is really a real cool. passion of his. Excellent. Um, Stephen Ministry Training, that's going to be hosted by our current HC Stephen Ministers. If you're interested in really just being there for people when they really need it, it's a great ministry. Mm-hmm. That's actually 12 weeks. All right. Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace U, we're going to keep offering that because we get the results of just helping people from the ground level up. Helped a lot of people save a lot of money. It really does. Redirect it to things that enhance Pay their off lives. that debt. And Amen. then his follow-up to that class, the Legacy Journey, Mark and Sue Lang are going to facilitate that. That's a follow-up to Financial That'll Peace. Once you get your debt paid and you're kind of starting to make some traction, then what? Mm-hmm. It's a great seven-week class on the then what. Very, very good. And then Embrace Your Body Fitness class with Anna. I think you and I still have the challenge from Anna I know. to be out there. Some <laughs> She'd of the run us into the ground. <laughs> Some of these ladies have been doing a year and a half. They love it. This is a chance yes. for new people to it's come in. Good. Keep uh, keep the health resolutions for your new year going. And uh, Pastor, any final thoughts for the people here on their work week? When you wake up in the morning, when you go to bed at night, Romans chapter 6, 11, and I'm paraphrasing it, say this to yourself. I am dead to sin's power, but living for God in the power Christ Jesus gives me. Mm. Say that affirmation, that reality, which is ours in Christ Jesus. Dead to sin, alive to Christ. Have a great week. God bless you. God bless you.